Hello, it's Steve, the Nortel Guy. In this video, I want to talk about accessing your Nortel BCM phone system with a computer. If you do not currently have access to your Nortel BCM phone system uh, via a computer, then this video will show you how to do that. Uh, this video is going to contain some language that uh, is uh, network oriented so if you're not network savvy I highly recommend that you get your network administrator involved have them watch this video with you um, it is also possible that your BCM is already connected to your network which means it would be available to access across the um, across the LAN and using a desktop computer if you're not sure, um, this video would show you a little bit about how you might determine if that's true. Okay, if let's assume for this video that you have a BCM phone system and it is not currently connected to your network nor have you accessed it before with a computer. Um, a BCM phone system might look like the one here in the picture. It might look like that. Um, it likely is mounted on a wall, sometimes mounted sideways so that it, it looks, you don't actually see the bottom here, you, or you don't see these ports in front of you, you actually see it from the side. Um, it could be a bigger chassis, like this. Uh, I believe that's a BCM450 in this picture. Um, that's a 200 right there, and that's a 50. And you may also have uh, two or even three of these BCM50s side by side on the wall. Now what you're looking for is a particular LAN port, LAN, local area network port, um, on the BCM. And they're going to be represented like they are in this picture with these little symbols. Uh, if you can see it, there's a picture of um, what well, symbol that's supposed to look like a network symbol. And then also there is this port that has this picture of I guess you could say it looks like a computer or a laptop. That's the one we want. That's the port that we're going to want to connect to if we've never connected to before. Now, if you go and you look at your BCM and you do see a plug like this one right here plugged into your BCM and it is then going into some of the network equipment uh, that belongs to your business, chances are your BCM is already connected to the network. I would recommend you stop at this point, contact your um, installation person or your service person and ask them if it was connected to your network and how you might access it. And uh, don't be afraid to ask these things. It's your phone system and accessing your phone system across the network is not a crime. Um, okay, so let's get back to this. So f you need to find this port right here that's... Um, that's got this little picture of the computer underneath it and we're gonna call that the maintenance port and what you want to do is connect a LAN cable to that and a LAN cable also to a computer preferably a laptop so that it's easy to to be next to this machine while you're while you're doing this I mean you could drag a desktop in there it's true but a, a laptop would make it easier and you need to, and again, these are network terms, so you know if you're not network savvy, get somebody who is or get your network administrator involved. What you want to do is connect your network cable um, to this port with, the, and then also to your computer that you're going to use. You want to reboot your computer, and what should happen is that when it boots up, it will get a DHCP address that has been provided by the BCM50. Now, a DHCP address means that the Nortel BCM50 will give you the network connection you need to talk to this. When your laptop is completely booted up, what you're going to want to do is then launch a web browser. Let's see if I can get this here where you can see it. And you will want to enter this address, HTTP, um, let's see, 10.10.10. .10 .10 11.1 .1. now for this video I don't actually have my um, laptop connected to the uh, BCM so this isn't going to go anywhere but what you should see if you did everything right is you should see something like this 
I'm actually going to the address that I do have my um, BCM connected to on a different port. You might get something a little pop up about the security. Just override the security and click continue to the website. Okay, if you get this, that's a good sign. BCM requires a username and password. The default, that means what it is if it has not been changed by the installer, is going to be NNADMIN. That's NN admin or Nancy Nancy and then the word admin. Um, and the password is going to be please change me. Now I'm going to type it in but then I'm going to write it so you can see it because it's spelled kind of weird. Well, oh, I changed mine. Sorry. Okay. What that password again was, let me pop that up for you. I'll just write it on the screen where you can see it. That password was this. The, the login was NNADMIN, and the password was this PLS, capital CHG, capital ME, and exclamation mark. It has to be typed exactly like that. It can't, it's case sensitive. So it's capital P, lowercase LS, capital C, lowercase HG, capital M, and then a lowercase E, and an exclamation mark. If that does not work, it means that whoever installed your phone system has um, changed that password. You'll need to get in touch with them to find out what it is. All right, so we've arrived at this screen right here. And what we need to do, you can't actually do any uh, programming tasks from this screen. What this does is give you the opportunity to download the management application. So I'm going to go in here to um, uh, Administrator Applications, and I want the Business Element Manager. That's the tool I need to, um, to uh, manage my, my phone system. And there should be a spot on here where you can download this. Where is that? Oh, right here. Download Business Element Manager. And just save that somewhere to your desktop. Okay, now I'm not going to have you sit here on the video for two minutes, so I'm going to pause the video while I get this downloaded. Okay, we're back. Uh, I downloaded that Business Element Manager installer. Uh, I'm starting to run out of time on this video because I'm limited to 10 minutes per video when I use the uh, YouTube forum. So I'm going to cover the actual installation of this piece of software in another video. But to recap what we did, uh, we went and we found our BCM. We found this maintenance port. We connected um, a computer to it using a LAN cable. And for you network types, uh, it does not need to be a rollover cable. A regular straight through cable um, will work fine. It should supply a DHCP address. However, if it does not supply a DHCP address, um, the address that you want to have is this uh, 10.11, I'm sorry, 10.10.11.2, uh, and the mask is 255.255.255.252. Uh, you don't need to set a gateway, but if you wanted to, I guess it could be 11.1. Um, .1. And you'll want to point a browser to um, the uh, .1 address because that's where the, the BCM maintenance port is. And uh, also the password, again, or the login, again, was nnadmin, and the password is please change me. And again, that's assuming that no one has, has uh, changed that password since it's installed. If it doesn't work, just a guess, it, they, if they changed it, they might have changed it to this. But that's not official. That's um, 266344. That's just me guessing at what somebody, what a Nor Nortel installer might have changed the password to. Okay, so let's stop there. Um, and I'll do another video on installing the manager and how to um, access your system and then get started with some basic programming stuff. And uh, please, leave comments. If something wasn't clear, I want to know. And if I need to be corrected, I will freely admit I'm wrong if I was wrong about something. Okay, thanks.